Little Fox and the Wild Imagination by Jorma Takan. When Papa Fox showed up after school, he was surprised to find Little Fox in a bad mood. Hey, kiddo, how was school? asked Papa Fox. Said Little Fox. I fell off the slide today and a big kid laughed at me, said Little Fox. I don't want to go to school ever again. Hmm, that's rough, Papa Fox said as he tried to think of something to cheer up Little Fox. Hey, how about we play pretend? Papa Fox suggested. <laughs> said Little Fox again. You're right, no pretending, said Papa Fox, as he took off running. And let's definitely not... transform into race cars! Wait for me! Vroom. I win. Yeah, woof. You're feeling better now? asked Papa Fox. A little bit. Just a little? said Papa Fox. That's too bad. You know what's also too bad? Dinosaurs don't fit in buses. Roar, roar. As they got off the bus, Little Fox spotted their next adventure. Papa, can we get a special treat? Roger that, partner. Set coordinates for the planet ice cream. Yeah. I feel great now, Papa. Mission accomplished, Houston. We have one happy kid, and we are headed home to make dinner. Things were going great, but at dinner, their game of pretend took a turn. Ooh, you should pretend you're a giant and eat this whole broccoli forest, said Papa Fox. Wouldn't that be funny? No, said Little Fox. Let's pretend I'm a robot squid who bashes trees with my tentacles. Suddenly, Papa Fox regretted their trip, their trip to Planet Ice Cream. Robot Squid activated. Destroy all trees. Okay, stop pretending we're making a mess. Bath time. It's bath time. Once they were in the bath, Papa Fox made another mistake. Time to wash hair, kiddo. No, cried Little Fox. We did hair last night. More pretending, you scurvy bad guy. No, no, no. Wait, wait, said Papa Fox. But it was too late. Now I will put you in a mail truck and throw you into the ocean, and a shark will eat you all gone. What? Why? Why? 
After wiping up the bath water, Papa Fox, noted little fox, had disappeared. Hey, kiddo, where'd you go? Daddy, I'm here. You. Thump! Ow! Don't worry. This magic wand will keep you safe in the dark. Oh, good. Will it also make you sleepy? Asked Papa Fox. No, whispered Little Fox. We have to read these books first. All 5,000 of them? Yes! At last it was bedtime. Papa! Can you pick me up from school again tomorrow? asked Little Fox. Sure, said Papa. You got it, kiddo. Good, because tomorrow I will blast you off in a rocket and explode you into the sun, you scurvy bad guy. I love you too, said Papa Fox. The End